We are breaking down the week in Toy Habits news right now on Toy Habits Live. And before we go live, smash that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a beat. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits. I'm Michael. And I'm the Toy Sorceress, and you're watching Toy Habits Live. How's it going, Michael? I feel like we haven't been on the air together for quite a while. <laughs> I know, I wonder what happened to me last week. Oh my gosh, so many family <laughs> things and just stuff to do. Uh, but no, I'd really appreciate uh, Brick something subbing for me mm -hmm. and uh, you taking care of that, so appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And the weekend before that, we were both together actually at WonderCon, so that yes. was a lot of fun. That was fun. Yeah, it was it was actually cool to hang out with you and get to see your house and your amazing toy room and hang with your amazing husband. So that was really, really fun. Yeah, we had a really great time and uh, it was so cool, like showing you the toy room in person. So you didn't have to like, you know, you got to see all the stuff. And uh, we had a great time at WonderCon. We had fun toy hunting even on yeah. Sunday, even though most things were closed because it was Easter, but we found a few places oh to it up. <laughs> Um, so that was kind of Target nice. closed on Easter, right? I, I know. <laughs> I guess they were. I was like, oh, there's a huge Target. We ought to go to the parking lot. It's empty. Um, <laughs> highlight of WonderCon, though, was getting to chit chat with Emily while we were waiting in line yes. for the panel to start. <laughs> yeah, she was very cool. It's like the same like bubbly personality that you see on the live streams, exactly the same off camera, which is awesome. Yeah, it was so cool. And then I, I hit the ladies' room right before the panel started, and she was in there, you know, getting ready or whatever. And I was just chatting with her some more, like just like yeah. da, da, da. it was really. Cool. I got I a like, meeting in the ladies' room. <laughs> yeah, so it was fun. I was like, oh, I just I came out and I was like going to wash my hands. I'm like, oh, it's Emily. <laughs> That's funny. She was real nice. It was really nice. Yeah, it was a lot. Totally. Of fun. Is. Uh, it was yeah, very it was cool to see that stuff there first time. Yeah, it was fun to see the Transformers guy too, because it's like I sometimes watch the Transformers streams and I was like, oh, I recognize that person too. It was, it was fun. You're like, I know that dude. <laughs> I know that dude. <laughs> I know that dude. If you don't know, that's from yeah. Fast Times. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had a blast. And then me and Brick had a lot of fun last week um, hanging out here with the chat. We all missed you, but um, it was it was a blast. Uh, and then this week was all sorts of different toy news that we're going to yeah. kind of round up for everybody today because so many things came out. We had some really cool surprises out of the blue <laughs> and then and then pre-orders out of the blue, <laughs> right? <laughs> which I'll, I'll explain shortly. But before we do that, why don't we go ahead and say hi to the chat and, and check in with the crew as well because that is growing. Sounds so good. we got... Neil Hunter Hyde, one of our amazing crew members, is here. Another crew member, Frankie Rivera. Good to see you, Frankie, is also joining us. We got Timbo from Limbo also in the house. Crew member Ryan Cole is here. Crew member Kenneth Almquest is also here. Crew member, actually, crew member Joe Coleman here for 12 months. Amazing, Wee. Joe. Congratulations. We got to hang out with Joe at WonderCon in person. It was awesome. Yes. So we had a fun time. <laughs> that was awesome. And Joe, you're a lot taller than I expected. I'm like, you're tall guy. <laughs> I know, right? So funny. Yeah, it's like, oh, that was Joe. very, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm, uh, I'm still going. Uh, crew member Ryan Cole is here. We got King Panther. Crew member Joshua Robbins is joining us. Crew member the one and only Clint Jorgensen is here. Crew member Bigum is also joining us. On our U83 is here. Michael Benjamin is joining us. Crew member D Griff is here. Collector Phil, also another great crew member. Crew member Vex and Toys. How's it going, Vex? Good to see you. Uh, crew member Attaboy is also here. Did I did I get crew member Joshua Robbins? If I am repeating you, I apologize, but he is here too. Kevin Florence is here. Stephen Leahy, Dave Chanelli, Hega Netum, and I'm not gonna screw up the rest of your name. Motu Prince. Crew member Rob2023, Al PA, crew member Steve Munier, uh, Motu Prince, and so much more. Good to see all of you here on a Friday night. Um, our weekends have just been getting so crazy, so we figured Friday is a good time to wrap up the week, yeah. um, hang out with everybody, kind of start off the weekend with something fun. 
right? Instead of like ending the weekend and being like, wah, wah, I got to go to work now. Yeah. Now you can start the weekend and enjoy yourself and uh, see what else is to come. So totally. why don't we go ahead and go ahead. The work week was so much for me, but then I was like, <laughs> oh boy, now we get to talk toys. And I'm like, woohoo, re-energized. There you go. Yeah, this work week was super, super long for me too. Um, yeah. But the thing with the crew, the crew is huge now, Michael. Um, and Allison Troy is here too. I, we got we to gotta organize that slide. I was like trying to get them all together. They hardly fit on there. <laughs> it's over 100 people now, if you can imagine. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. We were at like 96, 98 or something like that last week. So that's yeah. incredible. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So in addition to uh, the over 100 crew members, oh my gosh. And Ryan, geez, you were... <laughs> You were adding. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. So nice of you. That is so uh, nice of you, Ryan. Gifted 10 memberships. That's amazing. Clint Jorgensen reminds us that we've crossed the 9,000 sub mark, which is awesome. That is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, my God. And we got yet another gifted by the oh one and only Joe Coleman. <laughs> Five more Toy Habits memberships. So, um, if you're not a member yet and you're in the chat, 15 of you are going to get Toy Habits memberships. That is so awesome. And we and we have our awesome crew member, Allison Troy, who has snuck in here too. <laughs> That's so nice of you guys. That's awesome. Um, oh yeah. Attaboy, remind me if you are Calabunga Toys at the uh, antique fair, because I have a little story if you are. And I think you are, but I can't I, sometimes I can't remember <laughs> which handle you're at. So. <laughs> But please remind me. It's been a long week. <laughs> oh my God, it, it, it has. It really has. And um, speaking of long weeks, it was Wednesday afternoon. I, I I I put my guard down for like two hours, and then I pick up my phone and go to Instagram, and all of a sudden, what do I freaking see? But none other than something that I've always wanted uh, when I was a kid, and still want to collect is. The freaking G.I. Joe classified series Tiger Paw, which yeah. is amazing, right? Like, so I cannot awesome. believe that this thing just came out of the blue. Leaked photos, hit Wednesday night, right? And I was about to, like, text you and be like, oh, my God, look what I just found. And the very moment that I was about to type in, you sw swooped in with the article already done. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny because uh, you know, we get we get we get info from all over yeah. the place and like you know people sometimes see this before we do uh, Rob twenty twenty three you know he had texted me and I was kind of I was like working uh, you know and also trying to do something else and he was like he was like have have you seen this and then like nothing <laughs> he's like uh, like I'm trying to verify that this is real but no he was referring to the to the tiger paw so. That was that was nice to, to get a text from yeah. from Rob about that too, and um, probably like three or four people just mm -hmm. descended on Instagram texts and everything blew up. <laughs> yeah, and and so we we're like, wow, you know, this thing popped up. It looks amazing. It comes with wreckage. Um, the very next morning, I am at work at six a.m. and um, just pick up my phone, and the first thing I do is like, let me just check Instagram, make sure there's nothing mind blowing before I jump into my work day. And of course I see a advertisement from Hasbro Pulse and it was like 6.03 Pacific time. So 9.03, you know, um, Eastern. And it's like, you know, shop now. It was a shop now thing for the tiger paw. And it said like, you know, um, goes on pre-order at 9 a.m. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, what? Like, where the hell did this come from? I click on it. Uh, lucky enough, I was able to get an order in and I got one in for you as well. Um, oh and as soon as I tried to like download a few pictures, it was sold out because <laughs> I was trying to get the rest of the official images. Yeah. yeah. So that was a bummer because it's a Target exclusive, right? So Hasbro yes. Pulse had a very limited amount. And then you went and found the listing later on in the day, right? Yeah, it, it dropped at some, uh, it's, it dropped at a time where they don't usually have drops. Em Emily had actually mm -hmm. posted on Instagram that it's live and she said, sorry for the delay. So it sounded like they were having issues with Target. But mm -hmm. yeah, I'm actually surprised that this thing sold out. I mean, it's a repaint right after, like we haven't even gotten the ferret in hand yet. And here they are again with the repaints, right? It happens all the time. Yeah. yeah. 
and we still have um, Ram cycles, you know, clogging up the shelves are on clearance at Target, <laughs> and as well as like the Python Patrol travel bubbles and stuff like that. So it's surprisingly, this thing sold out right away on Target as well. I know yeah. Joe missed it. A lot of people missed it. Um, and yeah. it's it, it's sad. They really should have made more. Uh, I'm sure Target will probably have like a slew of them that's going to come in store. Uh, and maybe that's yeah. why they held a certain amount for pre-order and they're holding stock to, to stock the shelves. So don't fret everybody because, you know, Target's actually been really good at getting product like um, G.I. Joe classified on the shelves. They Pretty are. much all my I've, Targets are I've been so on. excited just to see all that stuff mm -hmm. on the shelf. I've It seemed like yeah. my Targets were not stocking anything G.I. Joe classified related, but then like the last two waves, everything is in stock full force. Like they got mm -hmm. the trouble bubbles in there. I waited for them to go on sale to 26 bucks and bought a couple more. <laughs> have a problem <laughs> <laughs> awesome. you're gonna, you're, are they gonna be like dangling over your head once you get your room all set up i want i want to see trouble bubbles everywhere oh my gosh <laughs> like I a chandelier you can make i need to figure stuff. out how to do that without them like falling on my head yeah that's true maybe you don't hang them on your head but you know oh. um i i've always <laughs> been a fan of you know the uh tiger force motif this is the vintage tiger sting and um, I'm hoping, obviously, we're going to probably get one of these, right? Because we do have the vamp. Uh, but it was such a surprise to see the Tiger Paw already. That's one I've always wanted to get. I never had the vintage one of it. Um, hopefully, we get this one next because, you know, having that that amazing <laughs> tiger tiger face and, like, you know, the, the orange gradated paint on there and all that stuff is amazing. And we'd have the cover on it. So getting a, a Tiger Paw is awesome, I hope. That they make more and so yeah. all of the fans who want to get one are able to because that's a bummer that it sold out so fast oh totally yeah and it's it's actually cool that they threw wreckage in there um i remember getting the tiger force five pack from toys r us that had wreckage in it and i was like who the heck is this it's a basically a firefly repaint but they did an amazing what did, job what did I say to you when i first saw the pictures because i looked at them on my cell phone and i didn't have my glasses on my reading glasses and because it was so small, the photo that I saw, I'm like, who's that bald guy? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I couldn't, I couldn't see it close. I couldn't zoom in to it, to the image I saw. But of course, it's wreckage. It's a, a repaint of Firefly, but on the G.I. Joe Tiger Force side. So um, yes. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Uh, the, the packaging is incredible. Um, just an amazing dio shot, you know, with this whole, like, battle scene in the jungle going on. There's this little hut that's on fire. You got some more tiger paws in the background, which I totally love. And um, they did like great job. There's pyrotechnics in these, Michael. They're getting really fancy with the dio shots. They totally are. Wow. Yeah, that, that looks great. Like even like the helmet. Yeah, it's a, it's a reuse of parts. It's a repaint, but I love mm -hmm. the like, it's, it's a shark mouth, which <laughs> doesn't yes. really make any sense, but. Well, that's what they, I mean, I know it's a shark mouth for a tiger. Like, it's a tiger shark, then. Oh, go. that's right. There we go. <laughs> An orange tiger shark. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean, maybe a trouble bubble, trouble bubble bath, maybe a worthy product. Yes. Yeah, I mean, sure. They will, they will probably market the heck out of all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. All the stuff that mm -hmm. shelf wants. But, you know, getting getting this, like, variant in color for the exact same product they just released, like, the, the difference that it makes, the ferret looks great, and it's in that darker blue color. I was always hoping that when they did the ferret, it would be kind of the brighter blue. But getting this, like, totally makes up for it because it looks incredible. We've got, you know, the bright yellow hubcaps and those red missiles on the side and the red gun, um, you know, the handlebar and the red laser blast in the front. Uh, this, this thing looks great. And then obviously with with a really cool gradient paint on here, um, they did an incredible job. I mean, are you like totally stoked for this? Oh, I totally am. Yeah, I I, I love the ferret as just a vehicle. And I don't mm -hmm. think I've ever had a tiger paw. But when I was reading up on the mm -hmm. tiger paw, they had, of course, they had reused the ferret mold. But they, uh, mm -hmm. they also left the I guess on the ferret, they had Cobra on the tires and they still left that on the tiger paw in the vintage one. And I was looking for that in here, but it looked like they, they stripped it off or they didn't include that part. Like that, we, that we would have been a cool homage to the. Yeah. Vintage yeah. You, I think you can see it right here. Right. Mm -hmm. Like kind of etched in the tire. 
Yeah, it's hard to, yeah. It's hard like, to see it, but you're totally including right. like history like that yep. is it would be right cool there. in 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 these figures. But you know, I I understand maybe why they didn't want to do it or they just overlooked it. But yeah, yeah. No, that that would have been awesome. Um, and also because it's it's neat because it kind of tells the story. Hey, you know, like GI Joe took over. They they um you know um confiscated some of like Cobra's uh, assault vehicles or something like that, and then turned them into Joe vehicles. So that would have been yeah. a neat story to tell <laughs> it's a very cool story yeah and yeah. like un unlike the python patrol trouble bubble or the regular trouble bubble like you only need like one of these things right so yeah i don't think they'll have an army of uh tiger paws yes. absolutely not and then let's go ahead and <laughs> take a look at wreckage it's so funny because you know from far away i saw like pink or, or you know brown color yeah. i thought it was pink. like who's the bald guy like, so who's the bald this is obviously <laughs> this is the bald dude <laughs> this is obviously a repaint of Firefly, so this is wreckage. Um, they did add this kind of like skull motif to his face. Uh, I don't yeah. know if I'm a fan of that. Some people might like it, but what do it's you think? The, um, it's the it's if I don't know if you can zoom into it, but it's a it's it's a saber tooth tiger skull. Oh, is that the, what it's supposed it's to be? Cool though. Yeah, I mean it's you got to kind of look at it super closely, but it's 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 a neat. I can I can pull up a. Yeah, let me let me see if I can pull up um, if we had a enlargement. I think there was an enlarged view of his face, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, maybe I didn't get in here, but um, yeah, it, it he does look pretty cool. Uh, I'll see if I can get in any closer because it you kind of lose the definition of it. But I did not realize that. <laughs> and look who swooped in here because his ears were burning because we were talking about GI Joe classified series. It's a punk with toys. Who, that is awesome. Yes, who uh, is always welcome in the yeah. chat. Always love to see you and head over to a punk with toys if you want to have some amazing yeah. GI Joe and other toy talk. It's got a fun channel. Yeah, I'm just pulling up the um, the listing so we can kind of zoom in better on his face because I'm interested in seeing that. So you do that. I know there was, I know there was <laughs> one more. Oh, here we go. This one. Oh, that's, that's a great it. picture. That's a yeah. good picture. Yeah, so it looks, yeah, it's not like a human skull because you can see like the huge, there's like teeth that are coming on the sides <laughs> of the mouth. Um, oh, very yeah, right there. right there and right there. Which is awesome. Yeah, that is very cool. I did not notice that. And I love, I love the Tiger Force Tampo. It's like black and white on his shoulder. That looks really great. And if you noticed... They went with a black and brown motif on his outfit uh, rather than, um, you know, doing like the typical uh, Tiger Force orange. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it matches the rest of his web gear. But what do you think about that? I mean, I know it's his classic colors. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I like that they threw the classic colors in there because he would have looked weird mm -hmm. otherwise. Uh, I, I do like that they didn't reuse like the Firefly head and I'm glad they gave him a different head sculpt. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a really good move. And and they use the classic Firefly um, because he's got, you know, the grenades and the uh, the cross uh, web gear on his on his chest, which is very cool. And, and the classic boots. So he looks really good. That's awesome. It's funny. I, I know I can picture this character, but I'm like, the name is escaping me. It's the bald dude with the red beard with the red shirt or the yellow shirt. He's a he's not a marauder. He, uh, he's a renegade, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. I think, uh, Taurus. Yeah. I think that's his name. Taurus. That's funny. Right. It's like all the stuff Absolutely. that pops into people's heads. Um, but mm -hmm. yeah, I love that. Uh, that helmet is so cool. Oh, I was going to say, I love this helmet and I love how they made it yellow, like that awesome pop of color. It, it looks really good on here. You know, it'd be fun. I made if, like that. <laughs> if, uh, it's like you could, I guess you could pop the helmet off and put it onto anybody, right? You have like a Tiger yeah. Force Duke or a Tiger Force Wakando and like popping the head off yeah. and like making it look like they've just put on a helmet. It's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. That would look really awesome, actually. Um, I, lo I love that you can do that. And it's so versatile. It's a great accessory to have with it. Um, so it looks great. And I love the, the multicolored gun, how they use black and brown on it. It just gives it that much more interest right and the same thing with his knife sheath that little pop of orange i like um, that <laughs> did you notice here you no know, he's got like a like kind of hashtags like he, you know strikes got like his a, kill marks 
Yeah, kill Mark, so then there's two more. So he's got seven. He's there tough. we go. Yeah, he's a, he's a force to be reckoned with there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming too. Like, I guess it's if it's a if it's a ferret repaint, you can also just uh, take off that gun and use it as a mini gun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. The one the one thing they didn't include, which is on the vintage ferret, was that that little cabling that comes off of the gun that's always missing on your vintage ferrets. Most people don't have them. Uh, they didn't. Oh right. Include it on there. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder uh, if the designer was looking at a vintage one that had it missing. It was like, oh, there's, I got all the parts. Oh, maybe. <laughs> um, also, the vintage ones came with a hose too. Uh, I, yeah, I so didn't really. Hose. Oh, got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the 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 hose or the cable. It was like off of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes off of this big gun on the side and like plugs in somewhere on the side. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been good to include. It would have. So I guess we're still going to be missing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And um, this is really neat because you can disconnect that big ass uh, missile <laughs> and and have them carry it around. Um, and remind me, was this a reuse of of a, a gun that they've already used? Is it the same I mean, one was, that's on the um, ram it was cycle? In the ferret. So yes, it is a reuse of parts. But well, besides uh, the ferret, because I know it's the ferret gun, but but um, <laughs> I don't know if that's the same one they have on the ram cycle. It just looks familiar. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well, well, I guess. If uh, yeah, I guess it did. Bro yeah, I guess Roadblock's fourth version came with something like that too, and yeah, maybe it's yeah. on the cycle. Yeah, um, I think so. Allison Troy, speaking of hose, it's my ex mom's birthday next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how funny! That's so and funny. This, this is this is really cool, and you know, it, it's really neat because they uh scaled down, you know, this this tree trunk. Um, so it's a scale with him and I, just look at the incredible detail on that. It's, it's not like a twig or anything. I mean, they did an amazing job and then even yeah. all of the, the, um, leaves and all the stuff on the ground, like they just did an awesome job on this, uh, diode shot. <laughs> awesome. Lawrence is keeping us, uh, keeping us real, not a reuse of any weapon. So it's a, it looks oh, like it's okay. a brand new weapon. So Good. It's, awesome. it's probably just looks very similar to other stuff. So that, that hose that you're talking about or the cable or whatever you want to call it, it used to uh, come uh, off like the bottom of the gun here and it connected uh, somewhere uh, on this yeah. side. I don't remember what it was on the vintage ferret. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's on this side. It's on the inside. You see that? I there do. It is. Right the there. <laughs> that one had it. And so I guess we're not getting on a new one. That's all good. Well, you better talk to your, your friend Emily and say, well, Yeah, Emily, my, you guys missed the hose. Where's my hose? <laughs> yeah. <We got> hose. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this. And you know, the funny thing, though, I want to point out is the uh, release date for Hasbro for those lucky people who are able to get it. And it doesn't say on here, I believe, was uh, oh, yeah, right here, October 21st. Um, but then Target's release date, I think it was like July 15th. If I'm not mistaken, which is cool. weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure those. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, but I think that's what the uh, target date was. Yeah, I'm sure those will align closer as the as time goes on. Date. Yeah. July 15th. I mean, that's right before it. Comic -Con. That's great. Yeah, yeah, that would be really good. So, um, moving on to other toy news, we had a ton of. Motu news dropped this week as well. Um, you know, we we had box reveals. We had um, you know a couple um, in hand images of some really awesome figures. And this, um, you tell the story on that on that guy, <laughs> which uh, yeah, this is thing interesting. Yeah, this this was revealed. Geez, not at the last reveal, but the one in October 2023. And this this kind of came out of left field. Wasn't really expecting a Stranger Things crossover, uh, and really no information was released about it aside from that it was going to be a future Target exclusive. There were tons of websites overseas that were putting this up for pre-order, and then um, yep. one of my friends, who's a really close friend of the channel, I guess he had set his alerts to go off at like uh -huh. 2 a.m. or I guess whenever they got it in stock and it came in stock at two in the morning and he wow. bought one and uh, it came a couple days later and he sent us uh, in-hand images of it. And yeah. how did you know, he know think, it was going to be in stock at 2 a.m.? 
That's what I want to know. I have know. no idea. Inquiry, <laughs> inquiry minds want to know. I'm like, that's good information to have had. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I guess I guess if he said his alert whenever it came, I guess it happened to just come in stock at two in the morning and he just happened to see yeah. the alert. So um yeah. but yeah, the there's a lot of uh there's a lot of cool pictures that he sent over. Um it's definitely mm -hmm. a weird set if you're not into stranger things or if you're yeah, I, I don't know how I really feel about the Stranger Things crossover. I think I saw like maybe one or two seasons of Stranger Things, but would love to know in the chat, like, is this something that you're, you want, you're getting, like, is this something that you want more of? Um, Looks like yeah. Delaxian's kind of sick of the Stranger Things crossover. I've never watched the series, so I'm not, I'm not too into it. Um, but it did sell out like pretty much right away. As soon as it probably popped up online um you know very shortly uh and of course the demi gorgon is you know almost all reused except for the head uh they did get a lot of use out of that recent mutated moss man from the turtles of gray skull line because it's essentially you know the same body uh, with those new two old hands and the new feet that that moss man came with and they used it on yeah. here too so get their money's worth yeah, uh, definitely with you, Sci-Fi Tsunami. We need multiple Demi Gorgons, but nobody needs another Skeletor. And I was actually surprised. Like the Skeletor is like is not very different than any of the other Skeletors that we got. I was kind of uh, a little bit it, miffed about that one. It's a V1 Skeletor. It's like his first head. It's not even like if you're gonna do this like deluxe two pack, they should have at least packed him with the articulated jaw. And they didn't. This is just the the the, the version one scale tour mm. from wave one. Yeah, it's yeah. uh yeah. So the uh -huh. yeah the funny yeah it's it's funny like it you know when I when I first saw the mold I was like oh what other things could they use it for and I was really scratching my head but not knowing that they would use this for uh, a future Moss Man character and probably they're probably going to use it for other things too. Yeah, and they they got to get their money's worth on the. It's only a few extra pieces of tooling. It's like the hands and feet um, for the Moss Man. They've reused it here. And then, of course, this head, which that's a, a whole new thing of tooling, and it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, um, there's some uh, there's some kind of cool things. And I, I only watched mm -hmm. the first, you know, the first couple seasons. But if you look at the... If you look at the weapons and stuff, it's a it's mm -hmm. a Dungeons and Dragons um, nice. uh, dice, which is cool. I, yeah. I think, like... Yeah. I appreciate that stuff and kind of the mixing in the lore in the in the weapons and mm -hmm. things like that. And I do like the flame effects. So like aside from the yeah. figure, like the accessories are where my mind's Pretty at cool. right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind it if maybe I'd change the head because that head creeps me out. <laughs> but like the big flower thing. <laughs> but yeah. his accessories are very cool. And when I was trying to put this article together, I was trying to get a little bit more information on like that Dungeons and Dragons dice, like, does it have like a specific name? Uh, because it's, the sets would come with multiple different shaped dice. Yes, it, it's funny. I worked for the company Fandom uh, for a couple mm -hmm. years, and they uh, they made an, a Dungeons and Dragons companion app. And so I used to know what these were called, but <laughs> that's, that's I, I couldn't <laughs> pin down the name of like the, this exact set of dice, so I just called it multi sided. Because um, I didn't want to give it the incorrect name, but they're oh, really I'm sure, cool. Yeah, I'm sure somebody would yeah. be able to yeah. figure that one out. We, I'm sure, we got some Dungeons and Dragons uh, players in in the house too. Um, I'm sure but we do. Yeah. Actually, I like the I like the way they did the box, and just for some reason, I'd never like read up on the back of the box. But I guess it's basically it's uh, Eternia upside down, and so I guess that's the. Um, Oh, that that that's the reason. All right, yes, okay. Thank you, Derlaxian D twenties. Yes, that is correct. I knew somebody was gonna know. <laughs> that's very cool. That's, that's very awesome. Cool. I mean, uh, the, the packaging is great. They did a really good job, of, you know, presenting that. And I, it, you know, having the individual figures like that, kind of top to bottom, um, it, it kind of, it looks very classic looking. I guess the way they yeah. packaged it. Yeah. So, uh, I can appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, this um, it's funny. This early photo where the, all the colors were jacked up. I really wish we got a Skeletor that was that color. No, seriously, it's, it's like Disco like Skeletor, <laughs> right? It's, like, it's so it's so strange. 
<laughs> that's what he kind of looked like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but cute. oh yeah, and um, oh yeah, we did uh, we did see another uh, yeah. I I forget if, if if they've released like all the stuff, all the news we get. I really forget if they've released something that I'm thinking of. But anyway, uh, okay. it was in the last batch of uh, reveal releases. Of so. Okay. <laughs> you could you can private message me that one <laughs> and I'll let you know. <laughs> oh thank you. yeah, I'm like, I'm not I'm not thinking too straight tonight. <laughs> it's okay. I, I do the same thing, trust me. <laughs> uh but yes. Uh in addition to the uh, Skeletor and Demi Gorgon, we also got a really cool box <laughs> reveal of Necroconda. And again, like yeah. this was another figure that was announced back in October 2023, but then no news. It's gone up for pre-order on all the international sites. And then finally mm -hmm. we just get a box tease from Roy, which is yeah. cool. Yeah. And and so on this one, you know, we always said it was going to be a Walmart exclusive. I think it's still going to be a Walmart exclusive, but there's a few things that threw me off because Roy released some additional pieces of art. And it's like, is this just part of your social media post? So it's these two images right here. Um, mm -hmm. Or is it going to be part of the packaging? And my my light bulb went off and I said, well, if it's part of the packaging, especially that one that's got the story about Necroconda, I'm like, that looks like the same type of packaging they did for Lady Slither, which was Mattel Creations exclusive, because that graphic was on like the outer box, right? Yes. Um, and then obviously I don't know where that other like nice large image of Necroconda would go. So I know, you know, I, I saw chatter online back and forth, you know, is this going to Mattel Creations? Is this still going to Walmart? Um, what do you think, Michael? Oh yeah, so I mean, this was announced as a Walmart exclusive when they announced all of the yeah. other Snake Men, including uh, the uh, mm -hmm. you know, pour out some liquor for Vipor and uh, <laughs> Terror because <laughs> we're nobody... never gonna get. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, Necroconda is still slotted to be a Walmart exclusive, but. Mattel always reserves the right to change um, their minds. Uh, you know, for example, um, you know, it. Uh, yeah, there, there seems to be some back and forth about where the Snake Men, future Snake Men are going to be landing. And so once we get yeah. like further confirmation. Yeah, and, and, and that's the reason I was like, you know, there was such a, such an S show with the Walmart Collector Con and the other two exclusive Snake Men that came out that I was yeah. like, maybe it was just wishful thinking that they were going to pull it. But um, Timbo from Limbo actually makes a really good point. And I didn't even think about this because in my head I was thinking it was going to come with a mini comic. The art that you see there, and he points it out, is probably from the card insert. Totally makes sense now, and it's got him on the front and then that text on the back. You just burst my bubble, Timbo from Limbo. <laughs> I was thinking like a shred of hope that it might have been on Mattel Creations, because I so, if I saw Walmart, I'm never going to see this guy. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, Pixel Dan is like also saying the Walmart as well. So uh, yeah, we will have to. Uh, I guess is it going to be coming to a future cancel con or like when is this thing going up for pre order? Probably. I think Walmart's going to hold on to it for the next collector con. Yeah, Walmart exclusives together should take place of the F word as the mother of all bad words. That's a uh, Christmas story reference too. <laughs> nice one, yeah. Rob. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, very so I'm not cool. the only yeah. one. Like Danny Phillips agrees with these. Like it looked like Mattel Creations to me. I think oh I think God. we're all just like like wishing it to be. Maybe it'll yeah. like transform into <laughs> Mattel Creations exclusive, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> yes, and I still have never seen Moss Man at a local Walmart. <laughs> you know, he doesn't exist in my area. He's just the uh, like a you know a yeti in the in the forest. <laughs> that's funny um yeah it's but it's funny it's it's sad that this is going to walmart because necroconda is supposed to be an army builder and so like how mm -hmm. cool would it be to get all of these glow-in-the-dark necrocondas but you're probably going to get zero because all the bots are going to buy them yeah the bots will be able to build armies but we won't right 
<laughs> and a huge, hold on, sorry, huge thanks to Ryan Cole, just gifted another oh five gosh, Toy Ryan. Habits membership. So we got 122 people watching. That means 20 of you who aren't members, you're going to get to to get a Toy Habits membership out there. So that's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's so Thank amazing. You so much, Ryan. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> this is this is his M. I need karma. I need some karma to get Aww. those. Like, so Ryan, I hope do. you get one of these. You deserve it. <laughs> and all of you who gifted memberships. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Uh, Allison's got a cool idea. I I I bet we see Necrocon in a three pack some point at Mattel Creations. That would be interesting, right? They can still make it a Walmart exclusive, and then they could repack it, make an army builder. Like yeah. That, that snake man four pack just didn't do it for me like i would totally buy the three pack of necrocondas yeah those are really cool i i love i always joke around but i love his like obi-wan kenobi cloak it's a yes. soft goods it's so cute like he looks yeah. awesome in that i'm and, like, so bummed lady slither's tail just looks amazing just in that paint app too so it's like i mean the whole the total package is great yes it's a re it's a reuse and repaint of a whole lot of things, but together they look great. I know. Brian, Bren, Brennan here, Brennan Bards <laughs> cracks me up. Brennan, you're so funny. When even Toy Habits is getting pessimistic, you know things are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Brennan. Oh my yeah, God. <laughs> it's funny. I've never had a problem getting something from Walmart until the last Walmart Collector Con. Yeah. So, yeah, that was just such a mess. Such a mess. Yeah. I missed out on all the exclusives too, so don't feel too bad. Yeah, sorry. We no. all missed out. But there'll be a lot of bots with them. Yeah. <laughs> Selling guess, them, you know, scalping them, them on eBay. Better. Yeah, well, it gives more opportunity. Like if the community gets uh, you know, either sees them in store or gets them online, you know, just to help mm -hmm. help a brother yeah. or sister out. And do yeah. That. Yep. Hashtag Walmart cancel con. That's right, Rob 2023. <laughs> Speaking of Michael, I want to do something and help the community out for you guys who are watching. If there's anyone who missed out on Krang from the Turtles of Grayskull, I was able to pick one extra one up. Hit me up on Instagram and uh, uh, we'll work out so that I can get that shipped over to you. Okay, Sounds like the so. first one to reach out to the Toy Sorceress on Instagram. <laughs> That's awesome. Just cover the cost. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't give it away for free, but um, as long as you cover the cost. Whoever needs a crane, uh, you got it. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, oh my gosh. Yes. So that was cool. Um, you actually got some really cool figures in hand from the latest wave, which is awesome. And oh my gosh. Yeah. I love what you did here. It's so freaking cool. <laughs> yeah. I got inspired because these two guys came. I also ordered Cyclone, which is missing in action. I don't know where he is. So I thought to myself, you know, and I was really tired, but I wanted to get some photos out to everybody. So I said, I'll do in hand images. I can't like, I can't muster up a whole review. I'm like, how do I make this fun? And um, of course it's Thunder Punch He-Man. So I was like, he's got to, there's got to be like a smackdown between Leech and Thunder Punch <laughs> He-Man. <laughs> so they went at it, um, had an awesome time. These two figures actually are incredible in hand. We did share last weekend, just before the stream started, um, in-hand images of Leech and Cyclone, thanks to one of our viewers who will remain anonymous. You know who you are, and that was so awesome of that person to send us photos. Um, I took, you know, additional close-ups of Leech, and I think he looks incredible because this is his filmation colors. Um, he's got a lot of really amazing detail on him. His sorry, his face sculpt. Looks great. I'm just going to try and put my hand in over here so it kind of focuses in on it. Um, but he looks really good. I mean, I, I actually really like him. Uh, he's a little shorter. He does have some wash on his body, if you can see the colors. There's a little bit of a wash on there to give his muscles some, some definition. Um, and then, you know, some of his plastic is kind of like that shinier type of plastic just to give him a little bit more premium look. And, like, his hands and his feet have just, like, incredible texture on them. Uh, so this guy, this guy's pretty rad, and he's got this little horde whip, and of course, his crossbow right here. And then we got Chain Smoking Annie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's Thunder Punch He Man, which lost his other Thunder Punch. Um, but he's really cool, actually. I 
I at first I was always the one making fun of this head sculpt, but it's growing on me. Actually, it doesn't look bad in hand. It's much better than I thought it would. So you know that, Michael, because I was like saying he looked like he had a wig on and blah 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 from the photos. But I actually really like it. I tried him out with the, the 40th anniversary head, but I think I'm gonna leave this on. And of course, he comes with uh, his classic shield. And it's got the little um the little ammo pack in there, like you know. For those and then you can open it up and you got another one in the back of his backpack you know the little pellets there which is awesome and it clicks back closed you can just pop it open so that's a really neat homage to the vintage figure and um and he has he has clips spots on both his uh, wrist bracer so you can put his shield and clip it on and take this, this little thunder punch effects off and clip it onto either side, which is really neat. Sorry, <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Or put it on this side. Uh, so I like him. I think he turned out great. And this is using the latest buck that they use on the uh, Revolution um, Battle Armor He-Man. So just to answer that question. But he looks great. He really does. So I'm happy with how these turned out. The sword looks really nice. And uh, if you want to see better photos, Go ahead and check out the SmackDown. And actually, you know who won that SmackDown? It was actually a leech. Because <laughs> I think I think the detailing and everything and all, all the new tooling on leech kicks butt. And that's why he went over Thunder Punch Man. <laughs> nice. Um, does it does do the caps smell like caps or is they do they smell like plastic? They Inquiring do not mind. smell, they smell like plastic. So no gun caps. Oh, they, yeah. They're just like, but you know, it's it, it would have been cool if you can like turn this and maybe make a made a, a clanking sound or something like that like a little tch, tch. like that yeah. would have been neat we know there's no action features on these but that would have been a nice homage um uh, and then you know he does have a wash on him too so the figure looks really nice like yeah. they did a really good job on him it's pretty premium looking and he feels really right. good and all of his joints move well so um and these nice uh blast you know thunder punch effects look really nice and they fit both his his um See, see grasping hands and his closed fist, so you can put it on either one. That way you don't have to keep swapping his fists out. I'll just drop one on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> He's got I don't know if you have a couple. Did you have any of the photos open? Or I know I showed them on the screen. Oh yeah, I can uh, I can throw those up there. Um, yeah, so, oh yeah, this, yeah, the, uh, I love the SmackDown pics. Uh, it's funny because <laughs> some, of the, some of the posing that you did, it's like somebody, like people on Instagram are like, oh, it's, is uh, is He Man much bigger than you know, uh, Leech? It's yeah. Like perspective, people. Come on. Yeah. He's a little. He's a little, he's he's a little, little bit taller. I'm gonna try and line him up like side by side. Um, he's just a little bit taller, but not much. Just a little. Oh, here. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, all sorry. Right. Just like right. a, like a, like a, not even a third of a head. It's like barely. He's a little taller. But I mean, okay. that's, that, that's I think this is a character because Leech isn't like a super tall guy. So yeah, that's true. He just has yes. a super suction power. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I definitely need gunpowder in mine because that's like one of my favorite smells as a kid. Is you the, like the gun the cap? Smell. Yeah, it's like it's it's there's two smells, like two seconds after it starts raining, you know, when that concrete yeah. asphalt hits yep. the rain, it's a good smell and cap gun smell is awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. So it was super fun that you can put, you know, that they gave you two cap gun uh, little rounds or whatever. So red and then the kind of gold colored ones. Um, of course, I had to put the red ones in his shield because that's classic, you know, sticking yeah. it in there. And then, and then it's nice to have like one that's a different color that like offsets in his backpack, you know, a little gold colored ones. So that's pretty cool. Totally. Um, question. Did you try the spare head from New Eternia Viking He-Man? Hmm. I did not, but I actually beers. do have my. Oh, no, um, yeah. <laughs> I do have my 40th anniversary He-Man. This is my my custom uh, Thunder Punch He-Man I made a long time ago, just by taking uh, extra uh, Origins uh, chest armor You're and his I want to see. All I did was paint paint his little furry boots on the top white, and and I, his wrist bracers red. So I was able to make a vintage style. Thunder Punch He-Man out of uh, this 40th anniversary He-Man, but I'm going to do a head swap right now so you can see what he looks like with a different head. And this new one, he is slightly more tan, but um, it's not too bad. 
the uh, sorry. That's <laughs> right there. If I can put my my hand in front of it. Just back it up a little bit, and you'll be fine. There you go. There it goes. You guys yeah, see that? Good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But you know what? Like this new head is growing on me, and I'm not uh, I'm not too too uh, you know upset about it anymore. I'm, I'm, it's it's I'm, I'm getting kind of fond of it. Like I, I kind of like it. So. Yeah, it, it turns out like a lot of the stuff looks a lot better in hand than they do in some of yeah. the official images. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, no, it looks good. And and they fixed his crooked wig. You know, it's now his hair is on straight rather than fakers. That was kind of sideways. <laughs> like Mikey's. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but these, these new fakers are great and they feel really nice. Like they're very well made. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I wanted to, uh, so I, I found the thing that I wanted to show off that I got at the antique okay. fair and uh, hopefully nice. Attaboy is still uh, in the chat, but Attaboy is local and he has a booth that he sells like vintage toys in at the uh, antique fair in Alameda Point where mm -hmm. I live. And he was like, oh, I have a a variant of too bad. And I was like, Oh, cool. So he had a, a flat back too bad, which I've never seen uh, in real life. So I'm like, of course, I had to buy it. And so it's kind of cool, awesome. because one, it's a variant, but two, I got it from some, you know, a, a, you know, oh. somebody in the community, somebody I know, somebody who loves toys. And so uh, I think it's really fun, uh, just to add this to the collection. So Actually, awesome. fit better in the in the cases that I have back because the the full back one kind of busts out of the star case. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, I'll just throw this one in there. <laughs> there you go. But it was it's made for it. <laughs> yeah, and, it I mean, and the and the action feature still works too. So that's so cool. I love that action feature. It's like a fun fidget toy. <laughs> yeah, it totally is. Um, that's it amazing. Totally is. All right. Um, I think we got what one more thing to cover off on before we. Uh, jump over to the after party uh which no. we will have with but that. by the way question for you did you yeah. did you get your um mattel creation cyclone yet have i did yeah. i have Who's not there? no i'm just i'm waiting to build all my bookcases and stuff to then i'll have an open party <laughs> yeah, that'll be you're gonna love him this, i mean this this is an incredible origins figure it really is uh that, yeah, the marvel really engineering cool. yeah they they did a great job like and then just the bright colors and everything on it um Wonderful. And I'm just going to, I'll do a little do spin it. so that you can, you can enjoy it. Hold on. I got to take off his, his hula hoop. <laughs> Make it fun. <laughs> it, it takes a minute to like, to get him going. But he, he works pretty well. I mean, they did an awesome That's job. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm, Lots I'm of glad, yeah. I'm so. glad that they uh, chose to keep the action feature in that one. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I I love this too bad. Thank you, Adam Boy. That was that was awesome. Um, yeah, it, it's it's fun to it's fun to see him once a month. Uh, we'll, we'll probably we'll we'll try and make it more often. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> awesome. um, he cracks me up. This is this is what does like saying. I was like, <laughs> That's fun. That All right. So fun. Um, Let's see, information that we were privy to, we knew these guys were coming. Uh, Walmart exclusive WWE superstars were uh, showing up on the Walmart site, of course, not in stock, but they did upload mm -hmm. uh, official images of these guys. But um, really cool stuff. Uh, WrestleMania was, I for forget if it was either last weekend or the weekend before, or weekend after that. But um, at WrestleMania, they show off new figures and they've, had for two years in a row the wwe superstars kind of uh, booth and reveals and stuff like that so we got to see some cool figures like uh, we got brutus the barber beefcake uh coming in if you oh, yeah. remember him from back in the day um and it's cool mm -hmm. because they're making this is not a chase figure but they're including an extra head sculpt and uh, just some other gear to kind of give him a look that he had uh, one, one time in, in WWF days. Um, but it's cool in the background. You can see Tatanka and Kurt Angle. Those are the next wave that is coming after the Kane, British Bulldog, and Muhammad Ali uh, wave that has not even hit stores yet. Um, so, yeah, lo lots of cool stuff. Uh, Razor Ramon, a couple versions of him were in there as well. Um, I don't know if it. Mm, it looks like maybe one of these might be a chase figure uh, just because mm -hmm. 
just the different decorations that they have. You can see the big boss man back there. It was fun. My my dad used to take me to uh, mm -hmm. WWF matches, and I saw the big boss man and Akeem when they were wrestling as the Twin Towers. So that was fun. Oh, that's so cool. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I really love that Lily figure. I love the red robe and everything, and the the boxing gloves. <laughs> yeah, great. the only thing is pinning these guys down. Like they are so hard to find. This line is the mm -hmm. hardest thing to collect, but it's 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 a cool line, and it's like I've never had yeah. such a difficult time collecting a line. The, we actually didn't we see Muhammad Ali Lee when we went to um, Frankenstein's two weeks ago when you were visiting. But he was very I don't expensive. Seeing him, if I he did, was in a glass I, case and I was oh, like, hey. oh yeah, you're right. He was so expensive. Yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> but no, you're right. I want him to uh, not that badly. <laughs> yeah, uh, Quentin, I, he's right. The, the bad guy, Razor Ramon. So yeah, he was a he was a fun uh, a fun character in the WWF days mm -hmm. slash WWE. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, yeah, I mean, just uh, some pictures of just the card art. Um, I think Mattel, Mattel, Mattel every month releases their, I guess, toys, and they release like several hundred pictures of their superstars figures, their mm -hmm. uh, elite figures, and stuff like that. So I'm assuming like the next batch, the next batch of figures is going to include the official images of these guys. So these will be cool. So Kurt Angle. Tatanka, if you remember uh, from back in the day, uh, love that he comes with that fabric gear and, of course, the big boss man from Cobb County, Georgia. That one's really cool. I love his his outfit. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. it's fun. Um, you know, it's it's funny. Like, sadly, like, there are wrestlers that are not with us anymore. Big boss man is one of them. And it's like, I just, I like, I want to wave where you have them, like, there's, there's people that are still, like all alive like let's just it's not there's not many right there's not many it's kind of sad <laughs> uh oh my gosh the the great muda that's awesome it's coming yeah. to the line um yeah very cool um that's nice. but yeah so on our website we do have links to the listings when they do actually come in stock and i really don't know if they're holding these back for you know, a uh, future Walmart collector con or when these will go on sale, but you can always check our site or just bookmark these. Uh, yeah, these that, that, those, that's an exciting wave. Um, those are a lot of really great characters that they did in that one. Yeah, it's cool. Awesome. Um, yeah. I, I don't like that they're doing like three in a wave, but I mean, I, I guess if they want to extend the line, because I would love to see some like tag teams, like, you know, if, if they want to reuse that oh, chalky yeah. buck and like Akeem was a pretty, pretty huge dude. So he can, yeah. he can fit in there too. So it would be cool to do a special like two pack, like a tag team two pack. So it like, looks really nice in box and they can just yeah. reuse like the Motu Origins uh, size yeah. packaging. Cause they already got yeah. it. Let's go to that, would be, <laughs> that would be was, awesome. Was, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, Ken from Toy Connections, member for six months, nine thousand subs for two of my best friends. Good community, yes, fabulous Aww. community, and congrats, Ken, on the launch of the Delta Seventeen uh, uh, product on the website, so we can actually order that stuff. Yeah, and and to make it easy, also for uh, all our Toy Habits viewers out there, if you're on ToyHabits.com, you you're on our shop pages. We also have a a shop page link directly to all the Delta 17 figures there too, um, to make it easy. If you, if you know, if you don't want to figure out like, Oh, it's, you know, Delta 17 toys, or I, I don't know off the top of my head, <laughs> their website directly, but we do have a link to their shop as well. Um, and so you can just access it from our shop page. Just go to shop, the main shop page. Oh, Michael. got it. Thanks. <laughs> and it's, and it, it's right there. There you go. Oh, so there you links go. to there all of the awesome, amazing figures. Um, Ken, uh, you and Steve and the whole team did an amazing job on these guys. Uh, I do have them all on, in hand. We did an incredible review both for the website and the YouTube channel. So be sure to check those out. These are really great classic O-ring figures. They take me back to my childhood. Uh, amazing new characters. I hope you guys do more, like, you know, more, more new characters uh, because it's a great line. Um, but yeah, shop page is now live and, um, 
you know, you can check it out either going directly to Delta 17. Is it Delta 17.com or is it Delta 17 toys? I don't remember. Here, the, uh, I don't want to screw Delta 17. Dot my Shopify. Dot com. Here, you know what we'll do? We'll do kind of solid and we'll drop it in the chat. In the chat. We'll do you one better. Um, because Ken is somebody that I met in real life. He's like yeah. a real person. That's and that was fun. so cool. <laughs> yeah. And it, I was like so jelly. I was like, I wish I could be hanging out with you guys. And then you all, you guys all called me when you were hanging out together. So that was very cool. But congrats, yeah. Ken. Uh, we are so happy and proud of you guys. And just also want to say a big hello to the Baroness of Toys who snuck in at the 11th hour. Baroness, we are going to be doing an after party for Junkies and Addicts right after we're done here. Um, you can watch this on the replay, and then we're going to have a lot of fun with our crew members afterward. Um, but before we wrap up, I was just going to have some fun and share a little bit of my toy hauls from the weekend we spent together. Um, oh, yeah. Because we did some toy, some toy hunting. You went uh, I shopping, girl. Things. I did. I don't have all of it. Actually, I'm going to grab one more thing that was actually really cool uh, in a second. But we found a very cool collector shop that I didn't know existed in Burbank. It was called like Universal Classic Toys or something like that. So I picked up um, this very nice uh, Toy Biz Captain America and a Kenner um, Arctic Batman, which this one's very cool. And I don't know if I'm going to open either of these yet, but really love those. Um, at Frank and Sons, I was able to get a freaking steal on a box, brand new multi-bot classics for 25 bucks. Um, so if you're actually, this was from Paul's shop over at Frankenstein. So if you're in the, in the market for one of these guys, um, he's going for $25 there. Um, I, I picked up, th this was kind of cool. And he was in a package and I opened them. But I, you know, I'm a sucker for Abominable Snowman for Bubba <laughs> from, uh, <laughs> from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And he's, he's articulated. His little head moves. His hands move. Um, this is totally adorable. So I love him. And. He's snuggly, but kind of hard plastic. And there's one more thing I wanted to share, which I'm just going to grab a pin off the wall, but it was, it's kind of like a, a vintage. Um, this is very, pretty neat. And it, I don't know what kind of line this is from, but. <laughs> That's okay. In the meantime, we can take a look at your uh, amazing Eternia display while you're there's gone. No. Oh, um, I got this pretty cool, like a uh, American frontier cowboy, which is awesome. And one more thing that's up on my wall, I'm going to turn around the camera because I did quite a bit of, shopping, but this, this is a really neat figure. Uh, you know, I love um, Mego figures. So this is kind of in that eight inch uh, Mego style line. And the last thing I picked up, which is pinned up on my wall. And as you can see in my background, I have a couple gentle giants from Star Wars, but I did get an incredible one. And I don't know if you're going to be able to, to see this, but do you see the uh, Luke Skywalker gentle giant up yeah. there? That's pinned up on oh, the yeah. wall next to Admiral Afar, and I got that for a steal, which was an amazing deal, but I found him, and he's got a removable helmet and uh, and two um, lightsabers. So that's a big 12-inch. Uh, it looks like the Kenner figure. And it's not even the Kenner figure because it's the one with an actual Luke head and a, a, and a removable helmet. So I may that's or may cool. not open him, but he's awesome. So I had, I had way awesome. too much fun shopping that weekend. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Cannot control yourself, which is fine. It's it's all right to do that sometimes. It was um, a special occasion because you were visiting. <laughs> yes, of course. Shop till you drop. <laughs> yeah. uh, Nino Biz has a question. Have you guys shared your thoughts on the Transformer G.I. Joe crossover flick? No, we haven't. Um, I, I always like the the movies, and so if they're making one that combines Transformers and G.I. Joe, I'm all for it. It was teased in the Bumblebee movie, so... We knew it was coming at some point, but they have to figure out a way, I think, to make the G.I. Joe movies more relevant and like better. Mm -hmm. And so best way is to combine them with another property that, you know, Michael yeah. Bay kills it on the Transformers movies. I thoroughly enjoy those. So hopefully it's good and it won't it won't set Hasbro back in uh, back in time when they release their uh, G.I. Joe movie figures back in the time oh back a couple of years ago. <laughs> anyway so yeah i i hope not and that's gonna be all like live action right so when we get to gi joe and live action it hasn't been a very good you know formula for success so yeah awesome. and we also don't cover media very much too so you know it's mm -hmm. if if there's toys that come out for the for the movies sure but um yeah i mean i'll i'll probably go see it if it comes out but yeah 
Yeah. So, Making more awesome. movies, and, more movies makes more toys, more money makes more toys. So it's yeah, it all yeah, like, more more stuff for us to collect. Um, no. So we are gonna have an after party with the, the junkies and addicts right after this and put your thinking caps on. Cause we want to hear from you guys. We want to know after all of March madness and all those amazing Motu reveals, you know, they're holding stuff back for SDCC. We yes. want to know what you guys want to see at SDCC. So yes. um, otherwise we take a, a, a quick little break in between these two streams. Think about that. And we're going to hear from the chat and we're going to have a fun time uh, discussing that uh, with you all. Totally. Yeah. It's been a, it's been fun on a Friday night. I think we're probably mm -hmm. going to do a lot more Friday streams because the weekend just gets a little too crazy and I feel mm -hmm. bad if we like cancel or if like I can't make it. So <laughs> we'll try and yeah, we're, we're yeah, family stuff, <laughs> right. Family stuff pops up and then we, it's like, we have to like miss the stream and we hate to do yeah. that. So uh, hopefully sucks. this time works for you guys. And like I said, uh, it helps kick off the weekend doing something fun. Yes. Uh, and then maybe inspires you to go out and um, do some uh, some toy hunting, which I'm still hunting for those new classic Voltrons. And the target employee was less than helpful when I went to the store the other day. <laughs> uh, the guy pretended to go to the back, go to the back and, and check for me. He didn't check for anything. <laughs> One job. One job. Yeah. yeah that's so. okay. All right, y'all. Well, it was great hanging out in the chat and addicts and junkies. We will see you in a few minutes. So uh, the link to that is on Discord and check the community section if you need the link. And we will see you all next week. Bye, y'all. Bye, everybody.